Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July 2022 love reading. If you are currently in a romantic partnership of some kind, or if you're a temporary separation from your person, if that comes up, we'll address that, then this is your reading. If you are single and looking for a new love, please stay tuned. I will be posting separate singles readings for you guys. Let's get right into it and see what we've got coming in for July. I do already have... Um, uh, general readings and also money and career readings posted for you if you're interested in those as well. So let's see where we go in this month ahead. So we've got the Angel of Balance. We also have Action. And last but not least, we've got Healer of the Ages. So when we have the Angel of Balance, uh, there may be a need to restore some sort of balance in your relationship, okay, or even in the environment around your relationship. So when we get the angel of balance, this is an invitation to take a step back and just have a look and make sure that things are in alignment for us. It can be that maybe there's a disparity regarding responsibilities within a relationship. Perhaps one person may be acting or may be more um, committed than the other person. It can be that there's a work-home imbalance there that may be affecting your relationship. Okay, maybe there's some financial issues coming in there as well. So the angel of balance is here to help you to restore some healthy equilibrium within your partnership, okay, or even within your world around you as well. Okay. So so take a step back and have a look at that and uh, balance is restored when we do get that angel of balance, but it may require a little bit of action from you. And we do have the action card coming in here. So this is actually one that's usually filled with excitement, okay, a lot of activity. So this is certainly a sign of encouragement for you from the universe here that maybe it's time to move forward with your relationship. Perhaps you have to have a conversation about where you're going. What are you doing? Um, perhaps there's something else that you need to take action on. Okay. Instead of waiting in the wings, um, perhaps you are the one that initiates something here in regards to your relationship, perhaps taking it to the next level, a higher level of commitment. Um, perhaps there's a conversation that you need to have, whatever that looks like for you. This is certainly a call to action to move forward, to overcome some challenges perhaps there. Okay where there's a will, there's a way with that action energy. But we also have Healer of the Ages coming in here too. Okay, so there may be something that goes a little bit sideways in your month ahead, or perhaps if you've been going through a bumpy patch with your person, uh, this is a great omen for you. With the Healer of the Ages, this brings in some healing energy, some enlightenment, okay, maybe even a little bit of clarity may come in here. You've got a lot of spiritual assistance when we do have this card as well. So Call in your angel of balance, okay, and also your angel spirits and guides and help ask them to uh, help you through, help you take some initiative, okay, help you make some moves, okay, or have a conversation that maybe you don't want to have. Okay, but the healer of the ages brings in this beautiful, loving light, okay, a calming energy, and uh, certainly something can get back on track here if something has gone a little bit sideways. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Thank you very much. Let's have a look and see what other energy is coming in here for you and flipping over, uh, insisting to be brought out there is the lovely Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups, so there is uh, love, there's healing, there's a new beginning, a fresh start, okay, there's a next level, a next stage of your relationships. When we're talking about a love reading, you want the Ace of Cups coming out here, okay, this is an energy that's filled with peace and love and good intentions, one that's filled with happiness and joy, okay, if you have been through a difficult period with your person, the Ace of Cups can certainly represent a time of healing, of doing new things, um, of maybe having just that fresh start, wiping the slate clean and just getting things back on track. For those of you, you know, you're all at different stages. Some of you have been with your person for a long time. Some of you just getting started and getting to know each other. So the Ace of Cups can be that uh, that feeling of falling head over heels, right? If you're getting used to your getting used to being around your person, right? You're just oh, feeling all the good feels. 
in that um, in that particular energy. So certainly a lot of love, a lot of joy, enlightenment come in that comes in there, peaceful energy as well, and a lot of uh, a lot of love, a lot of growth here. Okay, um, but you may even want to try something new with that Ace of Cups. That can certainly be the energy from spirit of trying new things and few infusing fresh life into your relationship. Okay, especially if things have gotten a little bit stale. Okay, and it's also this energy of operating on a high vibe. Okay, so even if there's something here that's a little bit out of alignment, um, you know, this is really coming from a good place of positive energy, of love, of companionship, okay, of compassion as well. And you will be able to figure things out with that energy there. We've got the Three of Cups. Now, this is coming in in your challenge position. So the Three of Cups in your challenge position is it could be that you're waiting for something, okay? When I have the cards in the challenge position, they're not quite um, as harsh as being in the reverse, okay? But there's certainly uh, some sort of an issue, okay? And so it could just be that there's a delay. Sometimes there's just a delay waiting for what, you know, makes us happy, waiting for something to come in or happen, okay? But it can also indicate a little bit of a problem somewhere along the way. So the Three of Cups is usually a card of celebration, of joy, of happiness, okay? Of uh, getting together with your friends, your family. It's very social, uh, very social energy. And so, um, you know, so there could be that you are, uh, you know, you've got something really positive happening here, but you may be waiting for it for a while. Okay. And uh, certainly something to celebrate, but maybe it's, you know, when is this going to happen for me? Especially if you're waiting for something like to enter a higher level of commitment or someone to pop the question. Okay, you could be uh, waiting for a little while. Okay, there may also be a little bit of secrecy that's coming in there with that Three of Cups. Okay, and you know, maybe your friends are keeping a secret or they have something to tell you. <clears throat> Um, they could also be, it could be very positive. Okay. But maybe a little bit of secrecy coming in here. So I don't know if maybe someone has a surprise, um, in the month ahead. Okay. Maybe it's a very positive surprise, maybe like a surprise party, a surprise engagement, something to do, um, with a social aspect there. Okay. And maybe if you're thinking that there's a little bit of a plot afoot somewhere along the way, maybe there is. But the Three of Cups in that challenge position can also be part of perhaps what is out of balance. Because this is one that is a very social, jovial energy, it can be that perhaps there is so, some social interference somewhere in your relationship. It could be very simply as, you know, maybe you or your person, you know, are spending too much time um, out socializing with your friends rather than being focused on your relationship or on your home life. Uh, it can also represent that perhaps there is some sort of other third party interference, like a friend. Okay. Um, you know, uh, you know, let's say your significant other, they, you know, they have a friend that's always very needy. They're always, they always want some attention. Okay. And you just, or they just invite themselves to everything, right? Uh, it could be a pesky mother-in-law, something like that, or father-in-law, hey, equal, okay. Uh, equality right there. Okay. So something there is perhaps upsetting the apple cart in some, um, some sort of way. So we'll get a little bit more information from that. Your blessing uh, this month here, your blessing ahead is looking on the bright side, is healing, is moving forward from a challenging situation, is righting some wrongs here. The Five of Cups is usually uh, a, a, an energy that's, you know, something's not gone your way, something's disappointing, and it's also one focused on maybe a loss, right? Disappointment, bereavement, um, you know, focused on the negative aspects and not realizing the full potential or not realizing the possibilities that still exist okay so I think here um, you know with this being in your blessings position this could certainly bring in that healing energy this could bring in a solution to something that you see there's three cups spilled over there and we do have three cups in your challenge position okay so there may be some hurt feelings somewhere along the way okay but your blessing is finding a way past that finding a way forward this could represent reconciliation this can represent an apology this can just represent a shift in the energy, okay, or putting up some boundaries or finding some balance, okay? There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of opportunity for transformation here with this particular one. So turning that frown upside down and overcoming a challenge.
challenge. So it's absolutely uh, wonderful energy coming in there, right? And we've got two cups still standing. Okay, so a lot of emotions that are coming through this month so far for you, okay? But I think that whatever goes a little bit sideways or creates a little bit of an issue, I think you're finding your way forward. You're finding your way past that. And again, we do have that healing energy. Your advice from spirit. Now, your advice from Spirit is the Knight of Cups. Normally, the Knight of Cups here is someone riding off into, uh, riding uh, um, into our lives from the sunset, maybe, okay, or sweeping us off our feet. Normally, the Knight of Cups is one of action and moving forward, an offer of love, of romance, of all of the good feels. But with this being in the reverse here, I think your advice from Spirit here is that if something is not going in the direction that you want it to or if there's stagnation or something's not um, moving forward okay or there's some hurt feeling somewhere along the way I think here spirit is really saying that it is time for you to take some initiative for you to take some action don't let's don't take something lying down there may be something that doesn't happen the way you want or maybe there's something here that is you're feeling a little bit stuck in your relationship okay so there may be some conversations or there may be some feelings that you need to sort through um, go within and really get in touch with your heart space what do I want where do I want to see this go what is wrong right sometimes that five of cups energy we do focus on the problem on what is wrong so that we can figure out a solution and move forward okay so whether that is you know requiring an apology or just letting someone know your feelings Okay, whatever that happens to be, okay, I think here Spirit is trying to say that this may be up to you to speak your mind, to speak your truth, to let someone know how you're feeling. Because when we do keep those feelings bottled up inside, it's really not the best thing, right? Um, you know, and it, that's where we end up getting feelings of resentment and feeling as though we're not appreciated, right? And, you know, quite honestly, sometimes our partners, sometimes there's a lot of other things going on in life life. Okay. We've got work. We've got, you know, money situations. We've got exes, right? You know, all of those things. And sometimes people are just unaware of their current environment, especially if they're feeling comfortable um, in a relationship, right? They don't necessarily focus on that. But I think here you're really focused on love in the month ahead. I mean, I've got cups, 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 cups call coming out here for you. So I think it's maybe um, a little bit of emotional month for you. I think for some of you, there's a lot of healing that's coming in here. I think there's some initiative that's maybe coming in, especially if something's been feeling a little bit stagnant. Um, I think here that things are going to shift in that aspect for you. And for the most part, all the feelings and all the vibes that are coming in are actually very positive for you. So regardless of where you are in your relationship, I think you have the ability here to get things back on track. Okay, for the most part. Um, for some of you, though, um, and I'm feeling this is probably more for if you've been separated from your person for a while, okay, or if you're just in the initial stages of a relationship and you're not 100% sure if you're on the same page with your person, this Knight of Cups could be that there may not be actual love here, okay, or maybe something has run its course with this, with this being in the um, in the reverse, Okay, so perhaps for a small handful of you, you may be coming into the realization here with especially this five of cups and the ace of cups here that maybe there is something here that's not making you very happy. It's not giving you the financial or not the financial, excuse me, the um, emotional um, satisfaction that you're looking for, right? Maybe you're just not feeling the feels anymore or maybe you're feeling as though something may have run its course. So you may decide to part ways with someone because that five of cups can be uh, a loss okay and if that is you it feels like here um, you know if you're willing to let go of something that's you know perhaps just not going to give you the long-term um, kind of relationship that you deserve and that you're looking for I think there's something a, be a little bit better that is available for you but first you need to process where you're currently at first you need to come to terms with that energy and once you do, then you can move forward, okay? And so Spirit's really trying to remind you of that, right? We quite often, sometimes, especially if you're on the quest for love, okay, uh, you're playing the field a little bit, not in a negative way, right? When we do have to, you know, put ourselves out there and get to know people. 
But I just think for some of you, maybe if you're, you were hoping for maybe something a little bit more emotionally stable in your relationship, and uh, this just might not be that particular situation for you, right? Maybe it's just something that's short-lived, but perhaps with that, um, a even a short-lived relationship, okay, or even one where... You know, you may have the opportunity to get back together, but perhaps you're just looking to get closure instead, okay, or perhaps that's just what you need instead. I do feel that there is hope at the end of the tunnel. There's a healing energy and there is an opportunity there for something that is a little bit more in alignment with what your heart wants. Your overall outcome, we do have the world. So I think some of you here are moving forward and stepping up into the next phase of your relationship. I think for others of you with the world card here, I think you've completed a cycle. So whichever one that happens to be for you, I think you're leading with your heart and your soul. Okay. And I think whatever your situation is, you'll be happy with the result. You'll get this sense of relief, of satisfaction, uh, certainly a cause to celebrate, okay, or um, um, an opportunity to transform your situation in a way that is good, that is um, uh, healthy for you, okay, and something that is really quite um, possibly for some of you some exciting, okay, because that world card, right, we really enjoy ourselves, we enjoy our moment, we get things back on track to whatever that looks like for us, and whether you're moving onwards and upwards with your person, whether you've just gotten something sorted out, you've got some closure on something, or perhaps for some of you, yep, you've seen this uh, situation through to the end to full circle and but you're okay you're okay because it's your choice and you will move forward and you will step out into the world again and you will find uh, something a little bit better for you something that's a little bit uh, makes you a little bit happier perhaps okay so uh, that world card there is you know one where we enjoy our moment we take that moment and we really kind of uh, give thanks and we're grateful for ourselves for our person even for a challenge that we've been through because sometimes that is how we learn and grow in a relationship right sometimes it's like a little roller coaster ride it's a little bit of ups and downs uh, that comes in there. But let's get a little bit more information. With the Ace of Cups, we've got the King of Wands. So the King of Wands can certainly be your energy, okay? Um, really being confident, standing up for yourself, standing your ground, okay? And, uh, you know, perhaps this is where you may take some initiative or play that lead role, um, in your relationship, the King of Wands can also represent your relationship um, leveling up to, um, to uh, maturing. Thank you. That's the better word for it. Okay. Um, maturing and evolving into something that is incredibly positive for you. Okay. That King of Wands is that level of maturity and even higher level of commitment. But I think here for some of you also, the King of Wands and that Ace of Cups, okay, we can certainly be taking some initiative, taking the lead um, and taking action, okay, to move forward. Um, but I also think here that perhaps you're finding new ways to infuse passion and passion and romance back into your relationship, especially if you're not like feeling all the feels. And we do, we do go through those phases. We've got a lot of things going on um, in our lives. So sometimes we're not always focused on love. But I think here in July, love is very much in the air for you. And um, whether you're trying new things, okay, whether you're having a fresh start or you're leveling up, I think here with this King of Wands energy, I think you're taking a confident, mature approach at things. Okay. And I think that you are, um, you know, perhaps even, uh, how should we say, perhaps even um, being a little bit adventurous, okay, within your relationship there. Okay. So uh, I certainly think there's a lot of positive things that are coming in here for you with that. Okay. And at the very least, at the very least here, you are taking control. You are taking the lead. Now, the King of Wands can also be um, uh, a, a person that may have influence, okay, or may have some advice or some words of wisdom. And this person, you know, um, could be just helping you see the light. Maybe they act as a mediator, king of wands, maybe they're a friend or a family member, but they may have some play some sort of role in your relationship. Um, we have the knight of cups. Interesting. So we have... This is very, uh, I love how cards come out sometimes. Well, maybe not so much this one. So the Knight of Cups here is coming out in your challenge position. And your advice from Spirit, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this Knight of Cups here is causing a little bit of grief. So certainly there may be a need to really address an underlying situation somewhere in your relationship. 
Okay, whether it's just having a conversation of where are we going? What are we doing? Where do you see this relationship taking you? That's always an awesome conversation to have, especially if you're not sure about what the other person is feeling. Okay, so I think here that this King of Wands energy may give you that confidence that you need to bring up a subject that you are maybe a little bit unsure about. Okay, it can be that you're looking to infuse fresh romance into your relationship, right? How do I do that? Well, maybe we need to do something a little bit more adventurous. The King of Wands, very adventurous kind of energy. Okay, but I think here, remember I said a little bit earlier, I think there may be some sort of secret somewhere along the way. So the Knight of Cups here is quite often that uh, that offer of love, of romance, being swept off your feet, sometimes an engagement, a higher level of commitment, and that with that Three of Cups and that Ace of Cups there, okay, I think here that you may have some worries that there's something, a plot somewhere against you or that there's something around you that's just, mm, maybe you just don't trust. You're like, I don't know if I trust this, okay, but I think maybe there may be a social influence here and there may be some friends or family that are um, helping to um, plan something in the background like a surprise so a surprise uh, party um, you know an anniversary event okay maybe re or renewing your wedding vows that can be that as well right that uh, with that world energy okay but it can be like a surprise engagement or something or maybe like a surprise getaway okay I just think that there's some sort of surprise here and you're thinking the worst with that five of cups but it actually ends up being wonderful for you okay so if if that's you having some sort of surprise, um, something to celebrate, hello the world, okay, um, congratulations, right, because there's a lot of love in the air, there's a lot of feelings and emotions coming out in your reading. But I also do think here for some of you that Knight of Cups is, you know, maybe some external influence, right, a social aspect there, it's like how can I move forward or how can we get past this or there's always someone here as a third wheel, so that may be something with that balance energy that you do need to sort out with your person, but I also think for some of you here, you may be doing some deeper contemplation in your relationship, again, those of you who maybe either are contemplating do I give this another shot do I get back together okay or you know if you haven't been with your person too long where is this going and if you don't see this going anywhere because this night usually moves forward but in your challenge position maybe some stagnation okay again that advice from spirit may be to follow your heart right because maybe there is a loss there for you that will actually benefit you going forward because you know, sometimes we get um sometimes we get attached Okay, or we have some underlying fears that come out, like a fear of being alone, um, you know, a fear of being single. Okay, that too. Uh, and sometimes just that uncertainty that, well, you know what, this person's not that bad. Um, you know, maybe I can make it work, right? And, you know, so this just might be there that if this relationship's not going where you want it to go, or if there is not that potential of leveling up again, here you are taking that lead role in that King of Wands energy and doing what is right for you, following your heart, okay, listening to your feelings, processing your feelings, and then you're figuring out a solution. Also with the Five of Cups, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, and again, this is a blessing for you, okay? So I think for some of you here, the Queen of Pentacles, very loving, very nurturing energy, a nester energy, someone who is very committed to making a good, prosperous, abundant life, Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles here could be that there is, uh, you know, in order to move forward, okay, or um, in order to sort something out, you maybe really just need to um, be focused on what it is that you want, where you want to go. The Queen of Pentacles, very positive energy. And of course, it's in your blessings. So I think here that if you're looking for a higher level of commitment, um, Queen of Pentacles, I think you're going to get it. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles can also be looking out for you, looking out for number one. Queen of Pentacles, very generous energy, very loving, very caring, very nurturing. Think of it as, uh, think of the Queen of Pentacles as like the farmer in the field. The seeds have been planted and now you're plucking out weeds, you're nurturing your garden and you're seeing things blossom and grow. So I think some of you do have that growth in your relationship 
relationship, you are getting things back on track. You're perhaps moving in together. Perhaps you do finally get that level of commitment that you're looking for, but you're getting things back on track. But again, the Queen of Pentacles think you're taking a very calm, very patient approach at things in your world in the, in the month forward. And I think here that you're going to make whatever decisions that you may need to make in the month ahead. I think you're going to make the right ones for you, for your relationship, and uh, for your future. Okay, so don't be afraid to take your time there because I think taking a step back and really focusing on what it is that you want, what do you want to nurture, what do you want to grow, I think you find those answers for you, okay, with that Queen of Pentacles. I think here also some of you may actually have some financial relief here as well. So if you've been having some financial issues perhaps uh, somewhere in your world, okay, or there's like a workplace issue that's causing some um, imbalance in your relationship, I think here that Queen of Pentacles, uh, whatever it is that you focus on to improve, I think you're getting things back on track with that energy. More advice from Spirit. We've got the World card coming out here a second time. Think about where you want to go. Okay, what do you want to go? Where do you want? Where do you need closure? What do you need to sort out? Okay, sort it out. Figure out the solution. Figure out the answers, and then um, really get ready to either move onwards and upwards, level up, level forwards. Okay, maybe you're forging out on your own. Okay, but you need to sort something out here. You need to get a definitive answer, whether it's from your person or whether it's from yourself. Okay, so find that closure kind of energy with that world card. But I mean, very interesting reading for you here, here uh, Gemini, right? Because we've got two Knight of Cups. We have two world cards, okay? So, you know, so I think here there is some things coming together. I think some of you are really um, hitting the mark. You're hitting your stride. You're getting things back on track and you're getting yourself to a point in your relationship where you're feeling good. You're enjoying yourself. You're getting out. You're having a sense of adventure. You're trying new things. You're talking to your person. Maybe a surprise that you thought was negative is like, woohoo, this is awesome. Okay. And Spirit's really trying to remind you with that world card there to enjoy life, to celebrate, be thankful, be grateful for your person, for everything that's blossoming around you, for where you are, okay, and for the people in your life here also, okay, and express gratitude to your person as well. Sometimes we don't do that. Sometimes we take people for granted. But I do also think here that once again, um, because I really do think for some of you, you are just getting closure and making a final decision. Okay, um, especially with the two world cards coming up here. Okay, um, you know, it's I think the spirit's almost saying here with that Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, listen to your heart, figure out what you want, and then get it done. Okay, and so whether you move forward on your own because there's new love out there for you too, okay, or whether you are moving forward onwards and upwards to the next level with your person, okay, remember to, you may need to make that final decision. So I think here that Spirit's really kind of saying, what do you want? What do you want? Take action and get it, okay. Uh, your overall outcome too with the world card we do have the ten of cups so I think whatever you've got going on I think maybe friends and family may play a little bit more of a positive role for the majority of you there the ten of cups is the happily ever after card couple, coupled with that world card man oh man I think some of you really are getting things exactly where you want them to be where you need them to be there's some celebration here there's some joy there's happy family happy life social engagements and that Ten of Cups being um, one of the happiest, happiest cards in the entire deck. I think you've got a lot of relatively positive, for the majority of you, I think there's a lot of really positive emotions that are here. Okay, I think you're getting some things sorted out. You're maybe focusing a little bit more on love and romance in the month ahead. Okay, especially um, if things have kind of gone a little bit sideways. I think here you're going to be restoring some balance. Okay, and I think you've got this a lot of positive energy, a lot of positive vibes to create the life that you want. Okay, to maybe even you part of the issue here is blending families together because that's always um, <laughs> that can go side that can go either way. Okay, that can go either really well or not so good. Okay, sometimes it represents a little bit of challenge. Okay, but I think here that you're getting things to where you want to be. And even if you are 
Okay, that person or that little handful of people where you're like, I don't know if we can go forward. I think we've run our course. We're just getting closure. Okay, I think here that you're feeling really good about whatever decision that you are making. There's no regrets. Okay, these these cards as an outcome is no regrets. Okay, and it's really taking that um, mature approach uh, at your relationship and at your love life and everything. And I think that mature, um, mature approach, uh, really does pay off and listening to your feelings and processing those emotions in a positive way, um, pays off as well. The queen of pentacles here, by the way, uh, as a blessing for you can also represent a person, perhaps a family member or friend. Someone may have some really good practical advice for you okay they may even um, help you out in some way it may actually be somebody with that queen of um, pentacles maybe someone that you pay for some help like a counselor of some sort and that can be that there as well but they have a very positive whoever they represent to you they have a very very positive influence on you and some really good good advice all right so let's leave that there for you because i mean hey the world and the ten of cups beauty um, but let's get your last messages here for you. And there is one. We have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So here you go. I think some of you are, you know, perhaps uh, restoring some balance, getting back together, healing some things, okay? Or, you know, of course, taking things to the next level, falling head over heels, romance coming in here. And, you know, the pieces just fit. There's your next card. And here we go. Okay, long one. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Like attracts like, right? We quite often do attract those people who match our vibration. Okay, so just remember that sometimes the qualities in people that annoy us or frustrate us or don't like us, sometimes we actually share those qualities and we end up projecting uh, our own uh, insecurities or our own feelings of things we don't like about ourselves sometimes onto other people. So sometimes we just need to be aware of that a little bit. And there is your final card. And we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. There you go. Summing up your reading right there. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated. If so, please give this video a thumbs up by hitting that like button there. That really does help help me with those YouTube algorithms. But um, also subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my readings here. Hit the notification bell and you'll always know whenever I do put something new up there. All right. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic month ahead and I'll see you later. Bye.